Last two. Sorry, right off the bat, we're screwing it up. Pam here, stitching between the lines. Tuesday morning, July 31st. Holy cow, July 31st. When my kids were in school, I was delighted that summer, summer would technically be half over on July 31st. Uh, now that the kids are on a whole different kind of schedule and out of the house. Summer starts sooner, so July 31st feels like summer's almost over. But time marches on. Uh, what is there? I thought I was thinking I'll make a video. I was thinking I'd make a video last week or whatever. I can't even, I don't even know how long it's been since my last one. Three weeks? Let's go with three weeks. I'm like, oh, I don't have anything to show. I don't have enough to show. I don't have enough. I didn't really want to make a weekly video. <clears throat> but <laughs> the stuff just piles up. I think about... Um, the backstories and whatever goes with whatever I'm going to show and then suddenly I'm thinking oh my gosh it's going to be an hour long video so I really don't know how long it's going to be people always say it's going to be a short one it's going to be a quick one it's going to be a long one I don't know uh, you'll know you'll see the time that'll help anyway I've been stitching a lot I've been busy a lot I don't know busier uh, busier than I think I thought I was going to be my youngest daughter who is living with her sister for the summer because she's working and going to night school. So where my oldest daughter lives is closer to all those things. So she's living with her and um, home on the weekends. And so on the weekends, we try to do the things you do in the summer. We have we like boats. We're big into the water. So we have a motorboat, but we keep it a marina, a powerboat. And then we have a sunfish and a jet ski and kayaks that we take uh, down to a local on a different lake than where our um, powerboat is. We just take them down to a little boat launch, a little um, town park, and uh, play. We like to play. We play hard in the water in the summer, and we have a pool. So if you know, I can't exactly drag the jet skis down there by myself. So <laughs> then I have to revert to floating around the swimming pool. So it's a hard life. I know. It's a hard life. I um, make the most of it, I guess. I do good deeds. That's how I balance it out. I do good deeds. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Um, I have a variety, a big variety of things to show. Some whips, some whips I haven't shown you or whips that I showed you ages ago and worked on randomly here and there and then don't ever get back out. I have some of the whips here and some of the whips will be pictures inserted. Uh, some of them are just big and unwieldy, especially uh, Let Freedom Ring. You know, I whacked you guys in the head with it once before already, so I just didn't bring it up. It's on my lap frame, like called a doodle frame, I don't know, on 36 inch stretcher bars. It's a little unwieldy. So anyway, let's get to it. I'm just going to start at the top of the pile. So there's not really an order to whips or purchases or, you know, whatever happens. I believe I have a picture of the before of my Christmas list that I'm trying not to hide behind what I hold up because uh, we have discovered, we, me and some watchers, <laughs> that, uh, you know, it really muffles my voice and then it makes it hard to hear. So glare, the sun has come out. Um, my Christmas list I am loving this one and I work on it just uh, between farmhouse Christmas and um, Christmas sampler winter sampler that um, Dan Lynn I've been doing forever uh, so anyway I think if I have a before picture it'll go here This one I did bring in. I forgot about it actually, and this as I was walking through by my one stitching chair, I saw it. I had a hard time putting this one down last time around, so I just kept working and working and working. So I know the before picture. Oh, I've probably more than doubled what was in the before picture. Absolutely love this one. I uh I'm going to try to resist spending so much time on it. My winter sampler is getting to the point where, oh, heck, darn it. <gasps> Shoot, sorry, gonna have well, to pause. I'm back. Sorry, my husband, there's only
only so many. Some calls you can ignore, some not so much. Anyway, I just talked about Silver Creek samplers. You guys didn't have the same gap in your conversation that I did, so probably I'm repeating myself. Uh, winter sampler. I don't actually have it in the room with me. It will be inserted pictures. But let's review. The whole top is done. She's done. And I am now done with all this. The out, this stitching and this outlining really uh, took a lot of concentration. And I didn't really like doing it. So I kept putting it down and finding other things to do. So I'm, uh, I've done this. Let me do this. Picture one here. Before. And then I have two after pictures I'll put here. So now that you've seen it, you can see I touched a tiny little bit on this greenery when I had some green still in the needle from doing the trees. And then of course I messed it up and had to take it out. And so I put a little bit of it in. So I believe my next move will be into the greenery and the ribbon. I was doing the outlining of these little guys down here. This is the little candies and there's similar outlining that really just is so pretty when it's done in the background. I was kind of itching to go and do the tr Christmas trees or the trees. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. The next farmhouse Christmas pieces come in. So I need to get back to that. And, and in August, I'm going to try to um, do the last two of the quilt blocks that go with it because September is, I'm not going to have time to accomplish a lot of anything. I'd really like those to be done. So those, then let me just rifle through and pull out whips if I can, if I can. I really didn't have a lot of purchases. It was mostly uh, just things that arrived from the last <laughs> epic spending spree. But I do have some, but first let me show you the, this whip that I unearthed. I started this one a while back. I call these my accidental starts when I'm working on something really big and I just don't feel like doing it. You know, maybe I'm tired or I've done it, worked on it enough in a day. And uh, back in, I think, April, my husband was away for like a week, 10 days, and I accomplished a lot of my um, Let Freedom Ring the whole upper corner and I um I lost my train of thought every now and then I just needed something different although I do not know even for the life of me why I thought flowers in variegated leaves were going to be a relief because I really hate doing flowers all those little fussy couple stitches here a couple stitches there of a color uh, but anyway we've talked about this one before I tried to, to grid the, the piece but the pattern has an overlap of four, duplicates four rows, but they don't compensate for that in their uh, 10 count. So my gridding, of course, only works <laughs> for the first half. But anyway, this is what I did. If I have a picture, I'll put it here. Last time I'm pretty sure I have a picture and I've worked on it sporadically and I don't believe I have showed it I'm up now to where I am doing one of the geraniums I haven't outlined anything I really need to do that wait maybe I'm lying no there is no outlining here I really like geraniums I like quilts I would think this would be fun I don't know I'm just puttering along on it so it's I bought it on Stash and Load because it's got all the things in it I like. Quilts, I like Crocs, I like geraniums. I don't know. And then this one, I do not believe I have showed you. Also an accidental start. Um, it's a Prairie Schooler. I, it was in my, it's been kitted up for a very long time. Uh, book number 198, The Prairie Schooler Christmas Tree Farm. I kitted it up because a couple years ago I was doing a Christmas ornament a month and I did one of the one of these and 
so I have, you know, it only takes a few colors of thread and I picked out all the fabric and all the fabric, fabric for two ornaments and this picture at that time. And so it's been kitted up in a project bag that I made and featured a while back that kind of cracks me up. Where are we going and why am I in this hand basket? Because you know where you go to <laughs> going to wear in a hand basket. So for some reason that cracked me up. So I've got all kinds of like threads in here. I don't know. So let's see what it's going to look like. I apparently stopped mid stitch. There's no before picture because this is the first time you're seeing it. It should be fun. It, it's simple. I'm going to uh, a gathering in, uh, in October, so it's a long time away. And I thought maybe I needed to put this one aside to take because each little house, each little tree is a little finish and nothing is very complicated and there's not a lot of color changes. So there's a prairie schooler. And let me see. Ooh, we talked about this just briefly. And Lori, Lori's looking out for me. Let me tell you, Lori. <laughs> this is greatly appreciated. Lori, you. That's how her name is on when she comments. And she's always a very gracious and nice commenter, both here on Blastube and on my Instagram. And I got to meet her at StitchCon, so that was really nice. So last time I showed you that I got a Seaside Kingdom Mirabilia pattern, and talked about I wasn't sure what I was going to do for the fabric and she sent me a link to HLC Fabrics who for a limited time and the time is up so I really don't know what they're doing now if it's something yeah it's there we go uh, I really don't know what they're doing on that website um, about these dyed fabrics let me see if I can get that up there so you can see their website in case it's something they have. I don't know if it was a limited time that it was a discounted, um, but look at this. I hope I can get this all in here. They're called the duets because they're dyed twice. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, and it is upside down because the sky, the blue, the sky is up, right? And the sand is down. This is going to be amazing. So thank you so much, Lori, for pointing me in that direction because I had no idea, clearly, clearly no idea. That is just lovely. That is going to make that project. I mean, not that the beads and the threads and the pattern and all those things aren't gonna make it beautiful, but that fabric will really be nice. And what else is in my pile of goodies? I. And resisting mentioning this. Nicole uh, led me in the pointed me in the direction of another floss tuber that I needed to be watching or that she really enjoyed so I went to check her out because I don't know I'm living under a rock I don't know. Jen stitching niche which um, which stitching niche which I, I don't know let's take that word out of the sentence Jen stitching niche end of sentence which I just instantly instantly felt like I needed to be her BFF. I have not told her that. I don't know if she watches me. I'm off today, I guess. Anyway, she, um, I haven't watched all of hers because there's a few of them and they're like an hour maybe long. I have a few more to go. I, you know, I started back at the beginning and then I'm watching current ones. So I have a gap in the middle. Anyway, so of course I have to go to her shop occasionally and find some things. Like she made these floss drops, which come with a ring. I really like using something to put the floss on. I like um, floss drops. Is that what they're called? I think so. And I like a thread palettes. I use those when I can, when a, when a pattern calls for few enough threads to fit on one. Um, so anyway, I ordered some of these. Aren't they cute? And I ordered her design with the limited editions or made just for her sampler threads. It's a little, <laughs> little pattern. It comes with the threads. It comes with the fabric. 
I don't know what else is in my pile that came from her shop, so I don't want to over attribute. I believe she had this. It was in <laughs> when you know when you order on Etsy. Well, when you shop on Etsy, you can put things in your cart like you do at Amazon. I do that all the time. I put things in my cart to save them to remind me, number one, that I want them. Number two, just because they'll stay there. They don't just go away. This was the only, I believe it was this, that there was only one available and it was two, in two other people's carts. Sorry. Sorry, it's in my house now. So, Blackbird Design, uh, I like the this. I'd like to do that and put it on that. We'll see. And uh, this, um, see, I've lost track of time. I piled the things up I bought. I know those came from, this might have come from hers, too. This is a reprint, right? It is, because I can tell it's paper. Pretty, pretty prairie schooler kind of colors and things, things and things. Uh, and then, sorry, I'm skipping all around. My pile, I don't have room in my pile for everything. I ordered my, I got my latest uh, farmhouse Christmas from down Sunshine Lane. So I ordered this because we like camping. We don't camp anymore. Uh, we do other things. But uh, my girls, they were summer camp counselors for years, at lifeguards, all the things. Camping. So we have fond memories of camping. They still camp but not so much the mom. I also ordered a piece of Fiberlicious chalkboard. First, two, two reasons. I have never had a piece of Fiberlicious fabric, and I was contemplating what would happen if I wanted to stitch one of the black chalkboard pieces, and I know people struggle with the fabric. This is pretty. I really like this. I like that there's that like hint of blue in there, like chalkboard dust can look like on a chalkboard. So my piece is 28 count Lugana. And it's not as black and miserable to work on, I don't think as black. <laughs> black can be, so. So there's that. That is to go into my stash. I really, I don't have a pattern in mind, but. I am drawn to some of the chalkboard pieces, so it could occur. And I pulled, I, I brought this up because I assembled. I, it's hardly kitted up, but let me, let me just dust it because it's been in my sewing room since it came out uh, in uh, the fall of 2011. This Halloween collection from Just Cross Stitch, and it's a whole book of patterns, and. I, well, first of all, first of all, way back then, must have been when Vanna did her first, her blog post about her based and baked fabric. So I did a piece. I honestly can't tell you what, I'm pretty sure it involved coffee and tea. Definitely coffee, because I remember ironing it and how much it smelled like coffee. Um, and Nicole of Nicole's Needlework said uh, something about I'm so bad Buckeye Stitcher Buckeye. that's the Nicole I'm talking about sorry sorry Nicole all the Nicoles but I'm talking about Buckeye Stitcher because she's my girl from my area from my hometown area anyway she called it the basted baked and burned what it what was it I'm like yes I burned mine look it's burnt so anyway I did this way back obviously in 2011 and then when I got this book it had a pattern in it that I thought would look good on that particular piece of fabric and I've had it all together here all that time waiting for me to be I don't know for something to happen for me to actually stitch it but the reason I got it out and brought it up here is because yesterday I decided to tea dye, tea and coffee dye some fabric uh, a la Priscilla and Chelsea. I watched their video at the same time that I was doing it. So two things. Mine is an even weave, not a linen. It absorbs differently. 
than linens do. So you know if you're buying over dyed, hand dyed, that if you want an uh, even weave, it doesn't take the dye quite the same. And I didn't really want to make it all muddy, yucky looking. I don't mind yucky. That's the bad. That's not a good word. I didn't want it too overdone. So this is the piece, one the big piece, and I have not ironed it because my iron up here has water in it. The iron downstairs is dry. So here we are. Here it is. Primarily tea dyed. There is some coffee in there. And then uh, I had a, this odd little piece that I did as well. It, uh, so here's the true confessions of a coffee, non-coffee drinker using coffee to coffee and tea dye something. All we have is a Keurig with little K cups. And I was trying to think, how can I make that coffee darker and richer? darker darker so in the freezer we have uh some decaf coffee in a bag so if you want decaf if somebody's our house wants decaf we can fill that little k-cup thing with decaf i don't know how much you put in there i don't i know nothing i don't drink coffee i don't make coffee so i got <laughs> i got out the little bucket i filled it with coffee thinking it would come out really uh dark what it did because i'm clueless is it you know the water runs through that little cup and the little cup didn't have a lid oh for heaven's sakes and um sorry that was my husband again um so the grounds ran over into the cup of coffee and i thought they'll just float in the pot and i'll scoop them out no, so they were all over everything. So I actually rinsed this off to rinse off the grounds and it's the smaller piece and I thought, well, if it doesn't work very well, after it baked, I rinsed it. I think the mark, the modeling right there is probably coffee ground marks. So I rinsed this one. I did not rinse this one. So this is definitely a darker, I don't know, I'm having trouble getting a good, it's a pretty brown, it's sandy, it's very sandy brown. Um, I ended up, because it was a gray day and it kept threatening rain, I ended up throwing them in the dryer. And the dryer um, got the coffee grounds off without me having to wipe them or rinse them or anything. So that, I think, was an okay solution. It certainly feels nice. But this is, this fabric is intended for the next um, stitch along Priscilla and Chelsea are doing. Pumpkin Harvest Farm, pumpkin. I don't know the name of it. The pattern is downstairs. I already had it. My rule now is for a stitch along, unless I'm already gonna buy the pattern, is that I have to already have the pattern because I have a lot of patterns. And I actually bought this one twice. I did it as a giveaway last fall. So when I discovered I had bought it twice, so I'm happy that it's a stitch along and I can get out. I have all the threads except for one and I'm sure it's floating around in a project somewhere. Uh, but I looked and it's just like the color that's the inside of the windows on the house. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I will either find the color or I will, um, I'm sorry, I'm reading another text. Lots going on in my house these days. Uh, anyway, I will use a different thread because it's inside of the windows, whatever. And um, one last purchase that took a while, one last, haha. -ha. Here's a purchase that took a while to get to my house the last time I was showing you all my purchases. Uh, I believe, I believe it was, um, I'll think of it. I'll think of her. Who talked about buying this? Oh, I'm sorry. She's one of the crap. Sorry. Anyway, a floss tuber we all watch. She's the one who started the Stitch from Stash with and does the Facebook group. Sorry about that. Apparently my mind is somewhere else on all these texts that my family keeps sending me. She showed this. I had to stop the video and go find it because my youngest daughter especially will absolutely love this. 
Love it. So I had to order it from Russia. I imagine the fabric will come out and something different will go in. Uh, it's full coverage, so it really doesn't matter. It'll, you know, if I just use a piece of white something. Um, unless I decide to use something else and maybe not have to stitch all this background. So anyway, I ordered it from uh, Russia, it came. And here's the envelope came like this. Look at this. Look at these stamps. I'm trying to get that one. They are just beautiful. My son is a huge soccer fan, so I said, look at these, do you want them? Do you want to become a stamp collector? And he said, they're cool, but no, not really. So, do you see why I don't get anything done? Um, so, stamp collecting, a lost art, is it something anybody does? Does anybody see these and say, yes, I would like them? Is there any more that, you know, like, just send me a comment. And if there's more than one person who comments, yes, absolutely, I'd love them, then, we'll, you know, I'll have to pick a name. But I just can't bring myself to throw them away. They're fabulous. I had to go to the post office and sign for it because it came from where it came from. I'm like, look at those stamps. And the postmaster was like, I know, look at those. So anyway, those are cool. So I'm saving them. And then, um, one last thing. Did we talk about, did we talk about that? I, I didn't talk about Let Freedom Ring. We'll come back around to that. That's the problem with not having it here with me. I, doing it all through pictures is I don't know what the heck I've done. There was a pattern I was thinking about um, changing the colors of. Not dramatically, just, I don't know, I was thinking about doing something different. So I decided I really needed to find this color chart with the actual thread it's not like I don't have every thread but my you know how the greens aren't all together I, I of course file them numerically uh, for ease of finding them again so I ordered this from um, my memory it's a steel sieve it's frightening um, It'll come to me. I like everything else. Apparently, I'm going to be editing like a fiend um, and maybe even watching a YouTube video on how to put the words across the screen because I haven't figured that out yet either. I'm assuming you can do that in the iMovies. Everybody else seems to manage it. So I just need to figure out. They'll let me type in. I can type in words and they either come up at the beginning or the end, but not like across the picture. So anyway, ramble, ramble, ramble some more. While I was ordering the color card, I ordered a pattern or two because that's what Stony Creek, yay! I don't even have to figure that out now. Um, I ordered this because isn't this adorable? Uh, watermelon, patriotic, and a crow. I'm all in. And the pattern's traveling al alone rule and don't even talk about the fact that the pattern was traveling with the color card. The pattern was still the only pattern. So I was browsing around and found um, by the Bay Needle Art Winter Holiday. Isn't that cute? I just love all the little, you know, the skaters and the sled, the snowflake, the skier, the snowflake, the snowman, the skier, all the things, all the little things we like about winter. So there, I'm pretty sure I'm done with my pile. That Freedom Ring, let's talk about that for half a second, has been uh, worked on. Um, it's on, like I said earlier, it's on my scroll rod. It's downstairs. It's too big to bring up and show. I'm going to put pictures in here. I have a before picture, so that'll be picture one. And then there's multiple pictures. Uh, you know, people are like amazed at how much I can get done. I only work on that in the evening and at best two hours. Um, it's just not it's a big picture it's not complicated so it really does move right along and it's on that scroll rod scroll frame that I can sew two-handed so that really does make progress uh, go quick so I'm working on it upside down so the first two pictures are upside down
going to cross the very tippy top and I really can't reach up under there and reach it. Um, so I'm working it upside down and then I took some pictures of it right side up so you could see it. So that is my focus. I'm going to work on that until the upper left quadrant is done. And then I plan to put it aside and do some of the things that I have neglected um, that are just in project bags for ages. So that's my plans. Uh, I have some thank yous, some big time thank yous. Nicole, Buckeye Stitcher, the same Nicole I keep referring to. Miss Oso oh Crafty, oh my gosh. Could you imagine what's going on in my brain? Like, hook me up to electrodes or something. Um, Miss Oso oh Crafty is who I believe was had ordered this. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Nicole what, just watched my video and saw my plight with the new DMC colors, how I ended up with two of one and not one sent it to me. That was the sweetest thing ever. So, I'm so sweet. I don't, I've not seen it in a big box store and um, I just hadn't like done anything about ordering it any of the times I order anything. So that was so sweet. Thank you, Nicole. That was fabulous. It's all it takes. It's a little card and that one floss, but I'm a happy girl. Uh, and then on a whole other note, but a huge thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, you you know Kathleen of Kathleen's Trod and Trail. She and I are uh, online floss tube friends because we have very, 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 very similar. Um, we're at a very similar stage in our life and phase in our life, and we have very, very similar styles. And uh, she, as you know, does rug hooking. So uh, in early June, I went away with a friend to a quilt show and some quilt shops. And one of the shops we went to was um, a shop with rug hooking where they had a demo out on the porch and they sold wool. And, you know, I went there thinking, I am not taking up another hobby. I am not rug hooking. I am not. I am not. I like the things I do. I have plenty of those things to do. I am good. So we came home and like the next morning, like Sunday morning, I woke up and I'm like, hmm, maybe I really need to give this rug hooking thing a chance. Well, I don't know why I was so against it because the wool is so pretty and the blah, 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 blah. So I say that to Kathleen and she's like, what? Rug hooking? Her ears perked way up and she said, I will send you some stuff and hook you up. So... We did some back and forth texting, emailing, all the things, and she sent me, she let me pick from a few different of her pa of her patterns, is that what you'd say? Like they're already drawn on. Um, and we looked at and talked about projects that I would like and so on. This is a draft dodger. I'm gonna fold it. It's just a string of trees, different shaped. It's a draft dodger, right? So, <laughs> Here's the thing, I took it off the frame, which she also generously sent me, and in the process of taking it off the frame, I pulled out a few of the loops that I had done already. So the, the piece of wool is hanging down in the back. Uh, it's You just punch again, you just do it again. So that's what, when I looked at it, I'm like, what happened? That's what happened. And then there's little tails that you cut, so there's a couple tails, and then this one kind of, graduates in because it's kind of a triangular shaped tree once the border goes in I, the background I think that'll help fix these guys up and it's different color greens so light hits them differently and they kind of look different this is my little practice run here um, so anyway I am enjoying it I actually really technically need to bring this row down out here so my tree doesn't look funny like where I you outline and work your way inside so uh, I'm giving this a whirl I have two more she sent me I'm not gonna pull them all out um, lots of threads around my cats are big fans of anything that's thread dangling so I can't thank Kathleen enough for her generous heart her generous um, gift to me and I am hoping to do her proud with these it's not a hot weather hobby though um, 
and half of our house, we have our house is really long and there's air conditioning units at each end for the central air and the unit in the end that's where my office is, I complained about this last time, isn't working. One of the texts my husband sent that required a phone call was them scheduling to come out here tomorrow to fix it. So fingers crossed because I think this will be their fourth time out. <sighs> right? Do we get, lose our patience at some point? Oh, huh. What do you know? Look around the corner and you find more stuff. Back to my um, little wee spending spree uh, prior to my last video. These things were still in limbo. I bought, um, I did show this, I bought one of the hands-on designs patterns at StitchCon that required some pins, some just another button company pins. So I went to the website to order them. They're either here or they're not here. I don't know, because I'd probably put them in the pattern and put it away. But I had to go through all their cross-stitch patterns that they sell with the accompanying buttons, and I had to find a few. When it comes to um, quilt patterns, I love the Art to Heart series. Love them. And when I discovered there's some of them in cross stitch, oh my, oh my, oh my. So the buttons are here, the pattern and the different buttons. If I swing it around, you'll see the pattern, but see there's the buttons. And here's another art to heart, which is so cute, so cute. When you make this one out of um, fabric, it's like several, la several, graduated size circles that stack on top of each other so you really look like you're it looks like you're looking down on a snowman it's very cute so there's the buttons are in there see there's a couple his nose there's one and uh, this I feel like we're seeing this in stores right now I'm looking for a date oh, 2012 so I don't know cute that is so cute. And one more. Those were hiding over there in my room <laughs> on my desk. They came probably right after the last video, so they've been here for a little while. So now I can put all these things away. Get myself organized. I started to touch on this for half a second before, in the very beginning, before the first time I had to pause the video. About my daughter, my youngest daughter, living with my oldest daughter. Um, youngest daughter just graduated college, got a job, and then got another job. So she, one was, she's a teacher, she'll be a teacher. Um, first job she got was a long-term sub position, and then she got a permanent position. And so she left the long, you know, notified the long-term sub job. And they told her, they told her, we understand this isn't your dream job, that it's only temporary. So if you find a permanent position, then just let us know. So she will be a middle school Spanish teacher. Ironically, my oldest daughter is a middle school Spanish teacher. Um, they both can speak Spanish and French. My youngest daughter was a modern languages major. So that's both proficient in both. She's certified to teach the Spanish. Um, actually, it, her master's degree will be in English as a second language, so she could deal with any language under the sun. Um, but currently, she's take, taken a position to be a middle school Spanish teacher in a school district that's not terribly far away. It's closer than where my oldest daughter works, but it's in one direction, and grad school's in the other direction, and she found an apartment in the middle. So we're moving her this weekend. My heart breaks because it's my baby. You know, the baby that you didn't get to, that was never an only child. The oldest one got to be an only child. The youngest one never got to be an only child and the middle one's the middle child. Um, the youngest one though, we got her as an only child for three years while her siblings were got in, in college and then out on their own um, and I gotta say there's something to be said for that only child phase of an older child uh, that was really enjoyable I in the beginning when she was going to be the only child home I said oh Erin I'm sorry I'm sorry you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna get all of mom's focus 
Uh, and people told us, no, you're really going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy that you get that child one-on-one -on -one to yourself. And that is true. It was very true. Uh, so now she's um, making her way out in the world. She's not that far away. It's probably 20 minutes. It just depends on how long it takes you to get through the city that's between uh, her and us. Um, so in the last few weeks, I have been, we, I and we, sometimes just me and sometimes her and I, have been you know, major thrift store shopping, consignment shopping. Um, God, she's getting a couple new pieces of furniture, like a bed. She has the only bed she has in her bedroom is the twin bed she got when she was two. So, uh, I did buy her a new bed, and we ended up having to buy our couch. Having, you know, we bought our couch. The youngest child, we have no more hand me downs. There's no more. My oldest daughter moved into to her first apartment at the same time that my parents were moving to Florida, so there was lots of furniture to be gained from that move. And then my son got a few cast-offs. He got some cast-offs from his sister, which, you know, left over from my parents. And I think I had to buy I bought him a couch, too. Let him take his bed out of his bedroom because we had bought a new bed when he was in college because prior to that he had the bunk beds he had from when he was two. Um, so... It's been fun, the thrift, the thrifting, and so on. Uh, it's been fun, but boy, it's exhausting because you see something somewhere in a store that won't let you pay for it and hold it. They'll only hold it for a day, but if you can't get back there with a trailer within that day to get it, so sofas became a problem finding those. And then you know, you found a table at one store and chair at another, chairs in another store, but you know, back and forth, back and forth. So. But, you know, when we love that thrifting, we love that thrifting. So she should be pretty well outfitted. We do have a few things that she can have um, from home to make an apartment. I'm reading the text. Sorry. <laughs> so the, the move is happening Saturday. All of my kids will be home, um, some with their significant others, and so it'll be a big day. Um, so fun hopefully the humidity will not be horrible because you know moving day we moved her out of her college apartment in the rain so here's hoping we get to move her into her apartment apartment in decent weather so anyway it will be august any second now um i'm just gonna do the same things the stitching i'm going to start the Priscilla and Chelsea stitch along. I think they're starting on the 10th, so I'll try to remember on that Friday. And Friday may be the day I actually work on that, like regularly on Fridays, which I don't usually do it like that, but I might try. Um, so other than that, I hope the rest of your summer is good. Maybe I'll be back sooner, and maybe with my thoughts more formulated. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs>